Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Dragon Hunter run, where last time we got our farm started, and uh, we killed two dragons, which now means if I check in the stats, is it, where is it, combat? No, magic? Shouts learn Dragon Souls collected three, yeah, we've killed three dragons so far, only 47 left to go. We're on episode five, the series is only going to be like about 20, 21 episodes I want to say? Until Starfield is out, so I'm going to need to up that average real quickly. But, um, before doing that, I want to double check I've built everything for the farm. Riverwood's and real also, alarm, ooh, suppose. profits! Very good man. Okay, got 864 gold straight away, and I'd like to Certainly. purchase livestock. What do you have in mind? Yeah, I'm just going to get all of these, because I'm sure they'll add to the gold. This will just earn it passively while I'm out adventuring, so should be worth the investment. I'll keep an eye out for a good cow to purchase. I've been doing a bit of searching around the farm, sorting out my inventory and stuff, and someone told me that in the child's bedroom, once you sorted it out, there was a shrine? There's a Nord Warhorn? Has that something to do with it? I was I was told there was a shrine, but this just appears to be... Yeah, a horn is the only useful thing. Um, so I'm not going to worry about that. What I, what I am going to do is kill Lydia real quickly. And now what I'm going to do is make a bunch of vegetable soup because I've got a few more of the ingredients, which should mean I can make three of them. I'm very low on leak, it turns out. I, I thought that was going to be much more impressive. I'm also going to take a look in the pantry, because, yeah, cup crops, milk and eggs produced by the farm will be automatically stored in this cupboard, which means, oh, look at that, even more alchemy ingredients. It's, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot, a lot, honestly. So, perfect. Oh, and all of these soul gems as well. Yeah, I haven't looted most of the places in here. Oh boy, you, you get good loot. I'm, I'm glad you- oh, so many alchemy ingredients. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna go a bit mad over alchemy for a minute. I've gone a bit mad on the alchemy, which is very fitting for me, and I've ended up in a Rorikstead because there was wheat over here, and I was like, well, I have to pick up all the wheat. I, I just have to. So I've, I've just been gathering a boatload of alchemy stuff. And while I'm here, I figure I may as well start Pets of Skyrim. Because the one pet I could kind of do with getting is Hilda here. So, who do I need to speak to about Hilda? Is it you? Name's Ennis. No, nope, not Ennis. Halva? Can I buy your goat? Of course. Excellent. Only 200 gold. Ah, it's a steal. For that price? Sure. Lovely. And now we have ourselves a goat. Hi there, Hilda. Hey buddy, wanna come with me? We're gonna fight some dragons! That's a very quiet bear, but uh, yeah, uh, uh, Hilda can um, carry stuff. So does it tell me? It doesn't tell you how much carry weight you get with your followers and pets and stuff in this game. But Hilda, yep, you come with me. <laughs> Lovely. And oh, apparently I need to collect more of a profit. Well, that's fine. I'm gonna collect my profit, and I think I'm just gonna ditch all my alchemy ingredients for now. I'll do some more alchemy in a later episode, but I already ditched half the stuff I had, honestly. Like, there's, there's, I've just got a lot, so I'm going to go back home and sort out my inventory. I've got myself down to a respectable 150 carry weight. I can get up to get 25 more carry weight when I equip the charm necklace. But we are still doing the Book of Love, and seeing as I just need to ride over here, I figure I should probably, you know, go and do that real quickly. Here we are. Just a short ride from Fort Greymoor, and I'm not going to collect the butterflies. It's but oh, there's three of them. No, no, no. Uh, let's just talk to Fremrig and look this way instead. Also, what's the red dot that's chasing me? I hope it's not a mammoth. Uh, your wife's looking for you, Fremrig. Rookie? Where is she? Uh, over to the west. Yeah, that's correct. We're expected to fight there tomorrow. Joker elected to camp here for the night. I don't like it, though. Uh, l let me take you to Ruki. If she's come this far from home, it must be important. Lead on. I just need to report back to camp by sunrise. Excellent stuff. So now we've just got to bing... bring from Rig. Is it going to... there we go. Yep, just bring him over. Ignore the butterfly, Sarge. You can do this. And there we go, Yukar's monument. And excellent, the two of them are going to have their little Fenric, chat. You're alive. 
Of course I am. What brings you here? I had heard that Gukar's men were wiped out. I came to find you. But that battle isn't expected until tomorrow. Rookie, what's going on? I am so confused. What's happening? It doesn't matter. I'm here. We're together now. And we will be forever. Yeah, that final fight line is always delivered so creepily. Just like, we'll be together forever. Is the kind of vibe I get off of it. Just ultra creepy. But hey, we can turn this in. And then we'll get our magic resistance. Alright, Dinya. I have done ya quests. Lady, what is it you seek? Your efforts have helped illuminate the entire province. I trust by now you've achieved a higher comprehension of love. Carry the blessings of Mara with you so the rest of the province may shine with her glories. And there we go. She says, I hope you've Good understood journey, like a, a higher blah blah of love. I find all of the relationships at least somewhat problematic. Like, only a tiny bit, generally, but it's still, like, more than I'd expect. Oh, yeah, and now you're friends with her, so you're allowed to take stuff, including, look, she's got all the songs of Pelennial. Pelennial? Pelennial. Songs of Pelennial. Yeah, you can loot the church after this. Oh, and I will actually take that. We now have Agent of Mara, which gives us for 15 extra magic resist. Breath being a Breton gives us 25, so we are 40% resistant to Dragon Breath. Because Dragon Breath is a magic attack, essentially. So that that's really quite good to have. Um, I forgot the Thief Stone still. I really don't need the Thief Stone all that much. Uh, what I'd like is to get some other bonuses. So I think next episode is going to be the main dragon hunting one. I, I am getting a bit worried that I'm doing a lot of not dragon hunting. But over here is an item I want to get. And I also need to head to White Run to start a quest which will take me to Solitude and get me some really good stuff. So, you know what, well, let's do the solitude thing first. So, over to White Run we go. So inside of a drunken huntsman, there is this note about the Battle of Champions, which is going to tell me that I can help either the Imperials or the Stormcloaks. And we're heading to solitude, so you take a guess who we're going to help. I have made my way to solitude, but I need to change this outfit, because while this is great, just a great look for dragon slaying. If I want to blend in here, yeah, let, let's be in the full imperial gear. Look at that. We we're, we're just a good. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. I'll get on with it. We're an imperial soldier, is what I was gonna say. Look at us blending in so well. Don't call me a traitor. I've not joined either side, so I can't technically betray them. And uh, let's head inside the castle. And in here, we should have someone to talk to. Uh, downstairs somewhere. Was that a... That's a ruby right there. Um, is it? Okay, I've got to find out where this person is I need to speak to. Here we go. So we've got all the sleeping guards and this legger here. And, okay, I'm actually going to wait for them to stop talking because they're really loud. Alright, they finally shut up and also everyone else has shown up here. There's, there's so many people around, but we just need to speak to the legate. Keep an eye out for trouble. It's only a matter of time. Yep, and I hear you're looking for a soldier to fight a Stormcloak champion. Well, soldier, are you up to the task? Oh, you bet I can. I knew I could count on you, soldier. Here, this is for you. Show the rebels the futility of their cause. Excellent, so now. If I just open this up, oh look at this, there's, well, all of this counts as stealing, but, uh, Lydia, do you, oh no, it's Hilda this time, Hilda's pushing me away, we can unlock this tiny little chest, and bam, Akatosh's Talon, and a full set of Imperial Dragon Armor, plus Dragon's Oath, this is, yeah, this is ridiculously good, however, I'm, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna ditch the standard armor I'm wearing right now back in here. This way it'll be a perfect crime. You see? You see? Perfect crime. Lovely. And right let's speak you. to Lydia. And Lydia to carry your yeah, has a garbage steel sword. Nuh uh uh. You can now get the Steel Battleaxe Fiery Souls. Because your followers will soul trap stuff for you. But if I want you to be tougher, I think you're also gonna need. 
yeah, I'm built for light armor, so you can have this armor which will reduce elemental damage by 30%, these boots which give you better health regen and extra fire resist, uh, these gauntlets which give you more melee damage, this helmet which gives you a chance of getting ebony flesh when low on health, which is going to happen a lot with followers, and... I mean, I could give you the shield when I'm worried you'll actually use it, rather than attack. I'll give it to you anyway. And now I'm going to equip my dragon stuff back. And you know what, you can even have an amulet of Mara because it's in the way. And I'm also going to give all of my uh, empty soul gems to Lydia so she can start filling them up. Excellent. And I now go from a weapon that does, in total, 43 damage a swing, to one that does 100 damage a swing, 50 damage base, and then 50 from the enchantment. This thing is ludicrous. So, uh, yeah, we now have a really powerful weapon. I've returned back to Whiterun, because that little cave symbol we see over there is going to be a good one for me to get. So I'm, I'm, I doubt I'm going to spoil anything by letting you know that there's some bandits inside of it, and those bandits should have, or will have, 100% guaranteed, as far as I'm aware, a fortify two-handed enchantment. I just heard the sky going a bit weird. Also, uh, Lydia... Yep, that's the shadow of a dragon. I... Oh, man. I like how you can hear dragons really well. Uh, Lydia, would you mind... Maybe fighting? Y you see how we're getting attacked here, Lydia? You see how there's a wolf right next to you? There we go. And lovely. Yep, Lydia absorbs the soul trap. That's all I wanted to do there. Um, where's this dragon? Okay, there's a dragon over there. Okay, we're going to try and fight the dragon first. Because, yeah, when, whenever we get the chance to, we should be fighting dragons. And we've got guards around this area as well, who should be able to help us. The problem is not being able to look directly up. Okay, there's the dragon. Come on, little dragon buddy. Come back. This is as high up as I can look. For some reason on horseback, you can't look directly above you. You can only look off to the sides. But, yeah, this is... There's plenty of room for which a dragon could land, somewhere around here. So if it could just do that, I'd be really grateful. And yeah, if it could stop going out of my cone of vision. The dragon seemed to just fly off over the mountain up here, so I don't think we're going to get to fight it this time. But that's alright, because I wasn't planning a dragon fight just then anyway. What I was planning was this. Just, oh yeah. We're going to be out of one-shot kill. All the bandits in this place, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, let's have some beef as well. Okay, so I'm just going to loot the stuff that's here, and then head inside. In we head to White River Watch. Who's there? And, Hello? yeah, I'm Rodolph. Boss was looking for you, said he'd be up at the summit. Better not keep him waiting. Alright, one thing I want to check here as well is do I have... Okay, unrelenting force is the one I want to have equipped, because I'm going to have a bit of fun with this. Oh, annoyingly, I was hoping he'd shoot off the chair, but no. But hey we can still, yeah, we're going to be able to one-shot kill everyone, so this is not going to be a challenging dungeon. Let's just go through here and have some fun. Is a good dungeon for um, a full set of fur armor, which is sometimes a difficulty in uh, survival mode, because that's the best you can get for... Uh, for dealing with your... Really? Are you... Stop living. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, apparently we can't quite one-shot kill everyone. But yeah, you get uh, a lot of mushrooms here. You get fur armor, which is good in survival mode when you need warmth rating. And even just the basic loot isn't terrible. You know? Let's stagger those two. And then, yeah, the wolf should go after them. And hello, Mr. Archer. Goodbye, Mr. Archer. There goes two-handed up another level. Okay, yeah, and the Ban Outlaws are just strong enough to survive, which is annoying. Uh, these lot should all die quite easily. Also, it's an iron ore mine, which is good. Um, are you going to actually win this fight or what? Okay, I'm going to trust that Lydia's actually able to win this. All she needs to do is actually swing the axe. But for some reason, she's just defending. 
God, I really hope Fuller AI gets a lot better in Starfield, because she could have won this so quickly. There we go. See? She got one attack and it worked. And then the bandit's there. Go on, shoot the bandit, Lydia. It's a nice, simple shot. There we go. And now that this is all cleared, we can step outside for our final little fight. And here we have Big Nasty Dude, who... Who, if you've got the full shout, will just get knocked off there. Oh, re really? Really, game? Okay, there we go. Two power attacks to kill him. Uh, I ran out of stamina at a bad time. It's the problem with this. Uh, but what we do get here are the Iron Hand Gauntlets. Two-handed attacks deal more damage. We can just disenchant this for the effect. And an Iron Warhammer of Chills isn't very good. I'm not even going to bother picking that up. But I'll get myself a bit of extra loot. Uh, yeah, why not? Perfect. So I'm going to disenchant the Iron Hand Gauntlets. And there we go. I know Fortify Two-Handed now. And I'll enchant my stuff at some point. You know what? I'm going to get rid of this Ring of Blocking as well. Yeah, I really don't need gold that badly. There we go. I have made my way to Morphal via a carriage ride. Because to end things off, we're going to do the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller, which is not far from Morphal. Because uh, going through the main quest will get me multiple dragons to face. And wandering from location to location will probably get me an extra dragon or two as well. So this is a good point to get on to. So uh, yeah, just going to take the ride over and it should be nice and straightforward. Only takes a minute to ride to the entrance. I am going to make sure to kill everyone outside of here. Because a problem I had when I uh, speed ran this game for a little while. They, they just died. Okay, that's not what I expected, but um, yeah, when I did my speedruns of this game, what would sometimes happen was I would just leave my horse out here and run inside, and then when I got back out, the horse would be dead, because these lot would just murder it while I was inside doing important Dragonborn stuff. Um, but hey, this time I get to kill them and be happy about it. In order to get through here with a good variety of levelling, I'm going to be using my bow at the start, because here you can actually get some easy stealth shots. Yeah, so let's get sneak up and get a bit of archery practice as well. Lovely. And let's shoot the corpse. Why not? I've got enough iron arrows to last me a lifetime, pretty much. Perfect. And I think in the next area and beyond, we're going to be dealing with mages who are fighting Draugr. So we're probably all oh, Hawkbeak. Lovely stuff. Uh, we're probably just going to be murdering everything with our big old hammer. Okay, I have decided I'm actually going to do a little bit of archery. Because I've remembered I have the Thief Stone active, so I'm actually going to level up archery a bit faster. And it seems like, uh, yeah, Lydia here has decided to go for archery. So, yeah, let's just support her a bit. And, oh, Lydia actually got the Soul Trap for that, that's nice. I'm used to only giving, like, well, I'm used to giving weapons that I've enchanted to my followers, which means they only have one second to trap souls. But uh, yeah, this pre-enchanted Battle Axe of Fiery Souls gives quite a bit more time. <laughs> Seems I'm going to have more opportunities for stealth archery in here, as yeah, we've got a couple of Draugr who... <laughs> oh, poor yeah. Lydia. Okay, well, I do actually need her to... She's not got many soul gems left, but I need her to kill some, like... Oh, you stupid... Yeah, you coward, you run. I need to actually kill some stuff with half-decent souls, because I think she has one petty soul gem, and, like, a couple of common. And maybe a lesser, or a great... No, a greater, that's the other one she's got. And this guy was just trying to run from me, which I do not appreciate. I don't know why he was doing that. I suppose he's a bit smarter than the other... Blast, other Draugr. Didn't mean to pick up that ruined book. <gasps> Fire arrows, Okay. I've been looking forward to getting some of these. I have checked with the merchants for fire arrows, or ice arrows, or lightning arrows. Because uh, they're terrible to craft. They cost, like, I think it's multiple fire, frost, or uh, void salts to craft, like, any decent number. Or maybe it's one per, but you only get, like, a dozen or something. But they've only got a value of, like, I want to say two? Which makes them incredibly cheap to buy. Because it's, like, Five or six gold in order to purchase one. 
which is a good price for one of the most powerful arrows you can get your hands on. Um, annoyingly, you can't quite spot anyone properly from here. There is that skeleton. Can I? No, that's too late. Yeah, trying to judge the distance from this far away is tricky. Especially when, look at how well he blends in right there. I mean, I absolutely aced him, but he does blend in real well. Oh no, you're moving. Oh, but I got you. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're doing a bit of stealth archery. I apologise, but when I'm landing these shots like this, I feel kind of good about that. Are you going to get... Oh, you fell down. I don't think the final one's going to show up. You know what, just just in case. About there? I want to listen and see if it... No, there's a guy on a throne, but... It would have been insane if I'd actually landed that shot. Because, yeah, it's him over there. And... Yeah, I don't even know if he's activated yet. Is he even there? He might have already got up. I can't quite tell at this distance. Alright, and time for... Ow, ow, ow. Yep, some nasty, nasty traps. Which I'm just going to need to heal through. And... Okay. We've got some more people to be fighting down here. That's it. Lovely. These basic draugr give me a bit of gold. I'm wondering if I should just stop looting them. But I'm like, some of them will have soul gems. And soul gems are useful. I'm trying to go... Oi! I'm trying to go not too loot heavy at this point, because I really just don't need a lot of it. God, my weapon's slow. Yeah, being hit with cold doesn't help, but having a slow weapon on top of that is just painful. Yeah, I'm trying to go not too heavy on the looting, because I know I don't really need much. Like, I could do with a few skills being higher, and that's about it. Okay, at this point, let's... What are my hotkeys? Okay, two's the bow of shadow, three is healing. I keep messing this up. There should be... There we go, some enemies over here that I can deal with. Here we go. Ow. Oh. I gave you a nice axe. Use the axe, Lydia. Oh, lovely. Hey, my archery skill went up. That was worthwhile. Okay, this guy is on here. I couldn't quite tell at the distance if this guy was actually on the throne or not. But he was, and I didn't hit him. But I hit these guys from up there? Like, kind of that area where the arrowhead is? Which I feel is a pretty solid shot for Skyrim. I'm, I'm proud of that. I've dropped down in order to get me the little shout here. Is it Become Ethereal or Fire Breath? Become Ethereal. Okay. Uh, and yeah, I could unlock some of Become Ethereal, but I don't really use shouts that much, to be honest. Like, I'm probably going to go mainly with Unrelenting Force, because it is fun to throw things about. But I'm much more of the mind of just like, oh, I'll just kill the enemy instead. That's that's much easier. I've got a weapon. It's good. And I, yeah, even, even in a playthrough like this, where I'm killing dragons as a main part of it, there's very little, actually, that, um is going to incentivize me to use shouts. I'm going to need one in a second, but first off I need to walk back up. I never remember the way up here. Is it this way? Yeah, it's because you have to do like a weird little circular loop. It's, this dungeon, despite having done it probably literally a hundred times at this point, still confuses me from time to time. Because you're basically supposed to ignore all this bit. All this area doesn't progress you through it. You have to go over this bridge after coming from up there and along and yeah it's a it's a strange little way it's done and I think it's the first dungeon you typically run across in Skyrim as well which isn't just a super simple straightforward path Whoa. and there we go lovely stuff and now I will go back to unrelenting force because that's yeah that's the one I really want and we're gonna deal with some spiders now so, there's your warning, people. It's spider time. And yeah, you're gonna get on fire. I suppose what you're supposed to do here is continue using the shout to not get set on fire. But I just I just shoot walls and get set on fire instead. There we go. Let's... Uh, oh, yep, Lydia. 
Lydia's gonna be fine with this trap because she's got a huge fire resist, which is good. I I'd say she's gonna be fine with the trap. I hear a constant burning sound, which is a tad bit worrying. But hey, made it through nice and easy. And is this the final? Yeah, this is the final room. We can put that away and we can do the little, look at this, a slow motion walk as these things come down. Yeah, have a bit of cinematic stuff to round us off. Look at that. Lovely. And we can see there's a letter here. And yep, need to speak to you urgently. Rent the attic room of the sleeping giant in in Riverwood and I'll meet you. Lovely stuff. But uh, that, that's going to be for next time. Next time we're going to rent the inn and speak to everyone's favourite character. Which, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure all of you are really looking forward to. Also, there's, apparently there's one enemy still off over there. I'm guessing that... Uh, oh, there we go, I just saw the soul trap thing. Yeah, Lydia must have been fighting with that enemy for all that time. Cool. Yep, here she comes. Lovely. Lydia's finished off the fighting. Well, that is going to be it. There'll be another episode up on Thursday. Uh, we're still only on Three Dragons Dead, which means we'll start episode 6 with Three Dragons Dead. Yeah. I'm going to start needing to kill, like, four dragons an episode if we carry on like this, which is going to be tough. So, um, yeah, let's see how this goes. If you enjoyed watching, leave a like. And, as always, thanks for watching. Sarge out.